What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Rebic's Road to the Final card. So he was a 79 rated striker. 144k, 164 for his new 84 rated striker card. They have got, I believe, I can't pronounce the name, but a Serbian team. So I'm pretty much... I'm not writing them off, but I'd like to think AC Milan will be going through to the next round. And we will be seeing, I believe, an 85 Rebic. If they manage to go all the way, we potentially could be seeing, what, an 88 to 89 rated Rebic card. Not bad at all. Quite a tall player. Fast. Bit of strength. Nice bit of shooting. Let's get into his review. So we have got a four star, four star, six foot one, right footed and high attacking, medium defensive work rate player right here. In terms of traits, we haven't got any for him. Um, just one which was for the computer. He is a very pace gifted striker. 88 acceleration with the 95 sprint speed so again not necessarily the way i'd like it to be i always like the acceleration more on this game for whatever reason it just seems to be more beneficial we've got 85 finishing with 90 shot power we've got some really good strength at 86 and 89 aggression which is absolutely fine 81 composure for an 84 rated card I think that will do. Obviously, that will keep going up as this card goes up as well, which is always really nice. Balance is the kind of let, let down as such at 73, but he does have 80 agility and 87 ball control. Just looking at him straight off the bat, I'm interested to see how this card plays. We um, kind of used him a little bit in terms of... Um, objective wise for i think it was a Serie A objective we used him in the one league friendlies so obviously it is matchmaking because realistically he's not going to be foot champs he's, he's not going to be foot champs and more than likely if you're in a higher division of rivals you don't really want to put him in there either he isn't necessarily the most meta the most kind of effective player to have up front if you was to put a finisher on him it does turn him into a 90 rated striker so obviously he's got to be somewhat of a, a decent striker but i think what what kind of holds him back is the animations of him, I think, in my in terms of what I like in a player, he's six foot one, which is never a problem. Even if you're you're six one, six foot five five, if you have the right set of animations, you have the right kind of like uh, running the running ability as such. I kind of use I, I kind of call it in terms of how he actually is with the ball. Sometimes we see in players like I, I hate comparing someone like an eighty four to like a Ronaldo, but it it's it kind of. It kind of fits because Ronaldo necessarily isn't the smallest player in the world, but he is still very, very good at this game. So in terms of if you say that this meta is more of a short uh, agility striker who needs pace, doesn't really, doesn't really need no strength, then it's kind of like the total opposite to this card, whereas Ronaldo would still be meta. He still just manages to be able to do it. And that, for me, comes down to A, all of his stats. He is the highest rated gold card on the game. But it comes down to his animations and how he plays with the ball at his feet. What is his skill technique like? Is it quick? Is it sharp? How quick can he turn? Is his shooting good? Sometimes it's just not there. Whereas obviously this year he is absolutely phenomenal. And Rebic is close in, in terms of what his stats are. But in terms of his animations, I feel like they were just a little bit blocky. Still got that kind of bit of rust on him. And you do find that he's not necessarily the quickest out of the blocks in terms of turning. But that being said, let's go and have a look at what he did. And see the gameplay for ourselves. So the one thing we saw with Rebic. Always in a nice position. He did score more of a sweat goal than anything. Um, it did seem like a lot of people, he was just there in the right position to pass to and to kind of just use that as, as the way. Obviously, going for the crosses, tall, stri uh, tall striker, he's in the box, he's got some heading on him. You can always use him there. I think we see here it was Trial Ray coming through um, and we do manage to kind of get it off to him uh, with a free kick there. Then we get this one. So we've got St. Max. We can see the ball across and how he manages to get the head nearly getting that angle. If he manages to score that, would have been absolutely wonderful. But unfortunately, just part of past the post. We see him running forward constantly. We see the little one-twos with Vidra. Um, we, we did bring him on because I actually really like him as a striker. We get across here and it's just a little tap in for him. And it's what I found that he was scoring quite a lot of them because of the fast winger that I was bringing on. It was just so easy to get it across to him. He's always in that right position. Obviously, with his pace, he's still keeping up with everybody. So for me, I didn't have too many issues with him. Didn't really create any solo goals, which is sometimes what I like to try with a striker. Just because I want to know, 
can he do it? He's managed to score a hat-trick of sweats, but can he make the shots himself? And I was struggling against some really good defences in the one league um, kind of uh, bit. This is probably the most solo goal he had. I don't know why I finessed it either. So as we go into the overall then, if we just kind of click off him, I think I got him down at 160, 175. Since then, he has uh, kind of fluctuated Xbox. He's substantially gone down by 30,000 and he's managed to kind of keep around the same price on the PlayStation. In terms of the stats, some good decent ones. 92, 85, 85, 85. We do like the finisher on him. He does go up to 94 shooting, 93 dribbling. His balance does get rectified a little bit more. 78 is a little bit more respectable. 90 agility is nice. He's also got the 99 dribbling as well. And I think it is, it is down to mainly animations, if anything, for this card because if you look at the stats, there shouldn't be too much wrong with him. For me, if I was literally just looking at these and, and no actual in-game practice, I'd say he's quick, but not out the block as much as the kind of longer distance. His shooting should be impeccable. Apart from maybe a bit of positioning could have a little bit more work. Passing's going to be average. Dribbling, for me, should be nice on the turn. Balance-wise, maybe gets pushed off a little bit, but then the strength comes in to kind of balance that out, and he wins the ball back if he loses it and tries to get it back instantly, because obviously that aggression leads you to want the ball more, and it leads us to his, his kind of like how he plays as an AI to get in front of that defender and try and win that ball off. But obviously everything doesn't kind of come down to just the stats there is a lot of factors there's obviously your ability of how to use him are you using him correctly his position animation um just who he's playing against in general then you've got like the dda kind of thing if, if you you kind of want to go for all of that and then finally you have then got the stats he did manage to get a very nice summer heat card last year after getting a man of the match a footmas and an inform he manages to cap it off at a 93 can we see another 90 plus Rebic in this game it's going to be very interesting he's not really hit too many good cards recently um, obviously FIFA 19 got a team at a group uh, team at a group stage as an 88 but other than that a man of the match here and then a few silvers nothing really to tax him in terms of his AC Milan teammates Kessie is going to be a cracking centre mid if they keep going forward 84 already could be the 85 after beating this Serbian team he then has obviously that rule breaker Ibra and then other replacements you've got mobile and Lukaku as two strong tall slightly slower but fast uh, strikers as well who you could change in place of him I think he's a good price he's obviously going to go up at least by one could he keep going that's going to be the question let me know down below who you think is going to win the Europa League make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one